Hello, welcome to Design. In today's video, I want to show you how to make this 3D complex geometric logo in CorelDRAW. Without further ado, open your CorelDRAW. So here in CorelDRAW, I'll pick my ellipse tool, hold down the control key and just make a perfect circle. And I'll try to distort this circle from this quadrant here, just click and drag. Yeah, so when you get here, just hold down the control key or your right click to make a duplicate. Now you can select this quadrant and select the circle, press the letter E to align it to the center. Okay, the next tool we are going to make use of is called the virtual segment delete. Okay, so I don't need this part of this circle anymore. So this is what we have. So I'm going to Turn on, click on the middle to turn on the rotation gear and uh, hold on control, rotate it. So, see how that goes. But now I want it to rotate and I want to change the center of the circle. So, I'll bring it down here to the edge, make sure it's at the center, then I click rotate. So, now when you're rotating, if you hold on control, it rotates 15 degrees. So, I'm going to do this by 30 degrees. Now, I'm going to employ the segment delete again. Just take off the areas I don't need. I don't need on this part. Carefully do that. Okay, so this is what we have. And uh, we're going to use the Smart Fill tool to make a fill here. After we have done this, I need to apply a gradient on it. So from here, see the interactive fill tool, click and drag, and you can select another shade of color of your choice so i love green and lemon so I'm, this is fine by me do the same thing for this upper part so pick one we are done i can take out this from the outline so I put this aside like I always tell you I would love to have duplicate of whatever I'm doing so I can easily go back now I can group this I want to make a highlight uh, I just create a simple with the ellipse to create remove the outline with the transparency to and apply this okay this is cool so I'm just going to rotate it to fit the angle where it is so this is what we have so we are going to quickly make this get into the finished data highlight group of control G and I'll click to change the center this time I want it here and I'll hold down the control key okay either control G or control R can get you to repeat this. Isn't that nice? So just take out, select and group, take out the outline. So we have our complex 3D geometry. This looks like a flower or a rose. So if you find this tutorial helpful, have any question, drop it in the comment section below. Give it a thumbs up, share this so that others can benefit from it. See you in my next video. So for more tutorials, check that video in the channel. Check all the other playlists you find helpful tutorials. Thank you very much for watching.